Hi guys, Mr. Rough Waffles here. I wasn't kidding when I said there was going to be loads of new intel today. We finally got the description for the map. It's just been released or leaked or whatever the hell's going on right now. Things are popping off. So without further ado, dizzle manizzle, let's jump into the description. So, Zombies. Eclipse, that's the name of the map pack, also sets the stage for Zetsubu no Shima. What? What the hell does that mean? I believe from a quick Google Translate session, ho oh, ho, very sneaky, I believe it means Island of Despair. Very cool stuff. That might be a slight mistranslation, but I will update you with that info in future days and weeks, obviously, as it becomes available to us. I will talk to people that actually know the language and all that good stuff to get a better translation. But for now, Zetsubu no Shima the highly anticipated all-new entry in the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 zombie storyline that spans the four DLC map packs for Black Ops 3 this year. Whoo! Hype! The Origins characters, hype, continue on their mission to stop the zombie apocalypse, hype, not only in this universe, but also in all universes. Holy moly, this is crazy. Our heroes find themselves stranded on a remote Pacific Island, which is home to the Division 9 facility, which is what I've been talking about for so long now. Holy guacamole. A secret biological research lab whose experiments with Element 115 and its effects on human, animal, and plant biology has created horrors beyond belief. Oh my goodness. Zetsubu no Shima features a foliage-rich island map including new terrifying zombie enemies, a variety of innovative transport mechanics, more devastating traps, and classic zombies side quests. Holy guacamole, everybody. It is lit in here right now. This is so cool for several reasons. First of all, name of the map, pretty damn cool. Looks like they are playing on the of the dead idea with the island of despair. Maybe it'll end up being island of the dead, essentially being translated to that, but it's just a sort of rough translation. We shall see. But moving on, Holy moly, Division 9 are not only doing experiments on humans and animals, but they're also doing them on plants. The plant biology is specifically mentioned here, and it says that horrors beyond belief have been created. This is going to be so insane in the map. Just think of the possibilities they have now to have a crazy research team that is essentially the Japanese version of Group 935. They are the equivalent, and they're experimenting on plants and humans and animals. The resurrection of the ancient beasts for your eastern front is one thing. The human living body tests that are mentioned in Takio's letter to the emperor is another. But plants? You had to bring the animal kingdom into this as well? What are you doing, man? <laughs> Division 9 are meddling with powers far beyond their control, as Richterfin might like to say. And as such, this is no doubt going to lead to some cracking gameplay. I cannot wait to get my hands on this and see the damn trailer in, like, 50 minutes. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so good. Also, I want to mention the fact that we've got a foliage-rich island map. That's fine. But new terrifying zombie enemies? What could that mean? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, let me know if you're excited in the comments down below. Also, give me a thumbs up in the comments down below. And finally, innovative transport mechanics. That's sort of a given at this point. We've got the tram, obviously, the gondola that is in Dereisendraha. We've got the, whatever it's called, I've forgotten the name right now, train, I guess, monorail in Shadows of Evil. And now we're going to have something in this map too. Is it going to be a boat that takes us between little individual bits of island? Is it going to be something else entirely? Let me know your thoughts. But remember, in Shinonuma, there's innovative transport. In Shinonuma, all those years ago, seven years at this point, there's the little sort of tram car that does go between those two areas. Maybe we'll see a re-envisioning of that kind of idea in this map. Maybe. Who knows? Also, more devastating traps. Yes. Thank you, Treyarch. The flogger. It had better be coming back. There had better be some electric traps as well. I want to see some crazy plant traps as well. Please, Treyarch. That would be fantastic. And classic zombie side quests. You know what that means, guys. That means Easter eggs. And that means, well, more videos for me and more exciting storyline information for us all to digest and investigate and discover and enjoy. So, I've been Mr. Rough Waffles. I'm really excited right now. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay on my channel for more up-to-date info as it comes out today because there's going to be loads. Tally-ho. Bye-bye.